Ed. Hey, how's it How going? How you doing? Good, good. It's been a, a great couple of days here at KnobCon. Yeah, great. What you got going? Oh, I, I've got uh, my, my rig showing uh, my clock generators that uh, feature Ableton Link. Uh, it started off uh, 2018 with uh, the Missing Link desktop. Yeah, and we've uh, shown this a couple of times. Absolutely, and that, that uh, due to part shortages, I can't make anymore, so I'm working on some follow-ups that are based off of the, what the designs I did for ML2, which is my Eurorack version. Uh, you know, again, a clock generator featuring Ableton Link. Uh, so soon you'll be able to buy the desktop version again. Um, I'm going to be calling it the Missing Link Junior because uh, there's going to be a, a senior at some point, maybe in about a year. Um, but I can't really talk to that one that much, but this the desktop suit will soon be replaced and be, you'll be able to get into your studio. And just a, I guess like a, a, a quick bit about if you're not familiar with Ableton Link, uh, Ableton Link allows you to synchronize over a network, it does not require Ableton Live. Ableton, the company, made Link for iOS and desktop apps originally uh, to sync up over Wi-Fi and not have to patch, you know, MIDI clock, which can be kind of sketchy sometimes coming out of the DAW. And uh, so they then ported it to for people to use with hardware. And so uh, I developed uh, ML2, and uh, so you have tempo, but also where something is musically. So you can. This, this, this ML2 is, is synchronizing a, a mono bass voice here. Then I have another one down here that's synchronizing uh, sample drum, or, or Pamela's new workout, which is then doing something with sample drums and chord. And then over here we have just uh, an iOS music app, uh, Launchpad. I, I did not develop that, but it, it uses Ableton Link as well. So what's cool about Link is now you can bring your modular to to your iOS music jam or vice versa. It really opened up a lot of possibilities about how to add different music making devices in, into a rig or get together with your friends and jam and not have to patch cables. You know, in an ideal world, everybody has an ML2 or uh, some kind of link device. And then when you get in a room together, you can just link up and, and, and start jamming. And, and you don't have to think about, oh, how do I patch my clock to, to your, your devices and maybe compromise your setup because you have to change things around or you know that kind of thing. Yeah, I was just talking to someone this morning about, because people come to KnobCon and they bring little, they bring the stuff like this and they want to jam together. And if nothing's in sync, it could be a, a nightmare. Yes, so actually at, at KnobCon, uh, not last night, but the night prior, uh, three of my friends, we all got together with our cases in, in my room and they, they, they all happen to have ML2s because they know me. And, uh, and we were able to uh, just jam out and not have to, each one just had a Bluetooth speaker and we were kind of independent systems but synced over Wi-Fi so that we were all, you know, pulsing together and, and, and able to bring our systems in and out independently. If, if I stop my clock, everybody else keeps going. So it's kind of like a, a clip launch in Ableton where you, you, you can start one thing. So here's ML2. I'm gonna, when I hit play, it's gonna be quantized to start on the next downbeat. to the launch pad to start some drums going. And then over here I'm going to add my app with mono samples which is being synced by, by uh, the Missing Link desktop. Now the cool thing is if I change tempo here, everything else is going to follow along. So I'm going to bring it up and everything stays in sync and it follows along. And I can take, I can take one device out, bring it back in, drop or whatever and, and uh, everything uh, jams along nicely together. Now, do you need uh, do you need this to to work with the? Oh no, the, you can have just an ML2. If you, if you just have the ML2 by itself, or the missing link desktop by itself, it's it's a lovely clock generator. Uh, but the cool thing about it is when you get together with with a friend and you both have you know link devices or ML2s or whatever, and then you you get to sync up and jam. So it, it works standalone. Uh, but you know, really loves to have a friend. Um, the other, the other thing about it is because it is a Wi-Fi device. Uh, this one, you see that the Wi-Fi light is blinking or pulsing. That, that means it's actually making a network. So it's making an ad hoc network that the other three devices are connected to. So uh, if you don't, if you're you know in a hotel room and you want to jam out, or you're out in an open field and you have you know a battery that you're running on, 
uh, you can just make a network and everybody can just join up to that network and start jamming together and you don't have to be patching cables out. So yeah, that, that's it. Um, so yeah, I guess a little bit about ML2, the, the outputs are, are configurable. So this one is set to have a, like a I think a two, pe two pulses per quarter note clock and then the output B is set to just do one pulse to reset on start and then it doesn't do anything else. But you can also have it reset every loop if you want to do that. And then the one down here, you see that the A is actually looks like it's just on, but actually it's, it, this is at 24 pulses per quarter note going into Pamela. And, and then the, the second output is in a, well, it goes high to tell this to start running. So if I hit play on this, now Pamela just started up and now, you know, the sample drum and, uh, and the chord are, are doing stuff. And when I stop it, output B goes low and Pam stops. So they're, they're very configurable and, and uh, the, 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 when, you're in, uh, when your output's in a clock mode, you can also add shuffle now. That's a, that's a new thing uh, this year. So you can, you can shuffle your beats uh, and get that little groove going on. But really cool. And they're, these are available now, right? Yes, this, the ML2 is available now. You can buy that uh, in a, a lot of stores worldwide, but also direct from me at circuithappy.com. Uh, it retails for uh, 215 US. And uh, this thing like desktop, as I said, can't buy that right now, but end of the year, I should be making an announcement about a Missing Link Jr. to follow that one up, so soon. Yep, great. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Ed. Hey, thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you.